Okay, Ed, thank you very much. We're going to move on now to the 112-pound championship match. Featuring three-time Ohio State champion Mason Leonard of St. Edward High in Lakewood, Ohio. He's taking on one of the two wild card selections that made the finals in the blue and white singlet, Matt Sanchez of Bellarmine College Prep in San Jose, California. Sandy Cagio will be our official for this match. Well, quite an exciting finish there at 103, Ed. You, you think you're down six to one. He wasn't out, was he? You know the type of character it takes to hang in there, stay focused, with determination to do. That, that was incredible. The smile showed it all at the end, Rob. From six to one down to 12 to seven up at the end, that was some comeback, and congratulations to Marvin Garcia. Well, now we're at 112 pounds. Mason Leonard, as we said, three-time state champion in Ohio. He'll be attending the University of Pennsylvania next year. Matt Sanchez of California, the third California finalist we've had in this event. Undecided about his college plans. Injured in the state tournament, defaulted to the eighth place position, but one of his uh, wins during the year I uh, came against three-time California State champ Jacob Palomino of San Jose Independence, and uh, for that reason, the California coaches uh, extended him uh, a wild card, which means he did not qualify according to the championship's criteria, but every state is allowed one of these championships, and Sanchez made the most of his opportunity. Quite an incredible feat right there. Leonard right in on the low single right off the bat. Trying to turn into him to finish. Sanchez trying to fight it off. Leonard working to the double and trying to work up. 40 seconds left in the first period, still scoreless. But Leonard has worked up above the waist and he has the takedown and the two to nothing lead. Very workmanlike. Got in deep, didn't panic, settled, settled, lifted nice and easy. Sanchez could not stay up hip high and consequently got the two points. 20 seconds left in the first period now, and uh, Lenhard riding on the ankles. Sanchez trying a little bit of a brands roll there. But Leonard comes back out on top as we tick down the final seconds of the first period. And look at this grand beat by Sanchez. A reversal, and maybe more. We'll see. He caught the Peterson coming through, and that, you can bet your butt that he works out in practice, because that was too sweet. Just a tip, just a reversal, no back points there, but a 2-2 tie as we go to the second period. Leonard with the choice, he'll choose down as we go to the second. Boy, you, you tick down to 4-3-2, and you think it's over, and boy, what a move there by Sanchez. Sometimes that's a script that some of these kids use. They know, it's just like wrestling the edge of the mat. Some kids will just relax. Some kids, uh, when, they're, when they're riding a kid out with, with less than 10 seconds to go, they lose that little bit, and some kids have it in their script to attack at that point. Well, Leonard gets the take, uh, the escape, and uh, he now leads three to two. Sanchez moving uh, down to one knee and coming up, uh, trying to open up Leonard. That's, that's what a wrestler will do if he's having a little trouble trying to open up another wrestler. He'll use different tactics, especially with quality kids who are complete and do know different technique to open up another wrestler. Two on one didn't produce any points there for Sanchez, and they come back to their feet. A minute 15 left here in the second period. Mason Leonard of St. Edward High in Lakewood, Ohio, with the 3-2 to two lead, and now Sanchez with the front headlock trying to throw by for the takedown, not, uh, not working there but he's still got the position of advantage here and uh, maybe try, trying to spin behind for some points. He's still got that arm trapped. Still trying to work his way behind, but Leonard doing a good job of facing him. 50 seconds left in the second period. Now Leonard with the single. Trying to bring him back onto the mat. And Sandy Cagio blows him dead with 
39 seconds left in the second period. We'll get a fresh start. Wrestling's a little bit like fashion, Rob. You see moves come, and then they'll come back again. They recycle. A uh, little thing that's popular right now, a lot of front head and arm. You will see that. And you'll also see uh, when a kid shoots in, as we're looking at now, um, kids will not fight so much in front. They will go. They'll take an ankle. They'll try to wallow roll like, he's, like we have here. He's locked in a crotch. Uh, you'll see a lot, a lot of that in college and a lot more in high school. Leonard started this takedown shot with a double leg and nice hip action by Sanchez to score off Leonard's shot, although it, Leonard still has the ankle. No points yet. Three seconds left. No points, but a great counter by Sanchez there to almost score a takedown that put him ahead. Sanchez just like hipped into his face in an awkward position, and uh, Leonard went, and he went, uh, went with it and almost um, gave up the two. Third period now, and uh, Leonard showing the optional start. Looks like he'll cut Sanchez loose for the escape, and he does. It's three to three. Back on their feet, just like we were in the second, and uh, Leonard looks like he'll again look for that leg attack, and uh, Sanchez again looking to neutralize that. And Sanchez attacking the head now. Got that uh, front headlock again, which is cutting off that uh, Leonard leg attack. Still trying to spin behind. Keep, he keeps spinning. Leonard keeps facing. Little cat and mouse game going on here. And he dragged him down to his base and spun behind for the takedown. And now Sanchez with the 5-3 lead. You get into a front head and arm, and you open up a lot of options all of a sudden. Pulling him off his base, you have knee taps. He was trying to just scoop behind and, and catch the near ankle. And a good front and head and arm guy, they're tough. They're tough, and then all of a sudden, you really don't want to shoot on him anymore, and your game plan changes. One minute left to go in this match, and a really creative finish there by Sanchez to take the lead. And now we'll see if Leonard can get out and get his offense going again. Five to three, and Leonard does not want to wait for closing seconds. Uh, you always try to have your kids score early and you know see what's happening down the road. You don't want to wait and try to get one or two at the end. Sanchez managed to get the legs in and he's gonna be able to work a little more time off the clock. We're down to about 35 seconds now. And Sandy Cagio whistles a stalemate on that crossbody ride by Sanchez. 32 seconds left to go now. Matt Sanchez of Bellarmine College Prep leads 5-3, to three, but now the sit-out and escape by Leonard makes it 5-4 for Sanchez. Here we go. Final yep. 25 seconds coming up. Leonard trying a little front head and arm action. Once again, there are a million options available with this, and that's all you have to do is explode into one of them, and a lot of times you can score. Leonard now with the single, trying to finish it. Eight seconds left to go, and Sandy Cagio gives the takedown. There Three, is two seconds left to go, and that is it. With eight seconds left to go, Mason Leonard of St. Edward, the three-time state champion, gets the takedown that wins it six to five. Another barn burner of a match here, second place to Matt Sanchez of San Jose, California.